the divine ladder of ascent. Similarly, in the Orthodox faith, we have the ladder detailed by one of the Desert Fathers, St. John Climacus. He was a 7th century monk at St. Catherine's Monastery at the base of Mount Sinai, otherwise known as John of the Ladder, because he was the author of this incredible treatise, The Ladder of Divine Ascent. It was also known as The Ladder of Paradise, or Scala Paradisi. The Divine Ladder of Ascent is an important ascetical treatise highly regarded by the Orthodox Church. He details 30 parts, 30 steps in memory of the 30 years of the life of Christ, the divine model for the faithful Christian. 30 steps to climb the heavenly ladder to achieve theosis. John of the Ladder was a gifted writer. I found his writings absolutely breathtaking. I cannot recommend it enough. He explains that traveling up the ladder first begins with renunciation, detachment, pilgrimage, obedience, affliction, painstaking, true repentance, and ends finally with the acquisition of Hezekiah. What is Hezekiah? It's the peace of the soul, God-like dispassion and perfection. In the Eastern Orthodox Christian mystical tradition of Hesychasm, Hezekiah or Hezekiah refers to a state of stillness and peace that is obtained through extreme ascetical struggle, prayer, and the constant contemplation of God. St. John Climacus wrote, A fish quickly eludes a hook, and a carnal soul flees solitude. The imagery of a ladder reveals the growing maturity required to attain theosis. It's a lifelong process. And knowing that there are stages is an encouragement to the believer to keep pressing and moving forward, stirring one's faith, rising in consecration, growing in holiness, because the prize that awaits is indeed worthy. St. John Climacus clearly had access to this heavenly ladder. He began his journey living as an anchorite in a cave, and after 40 years in the desert, he was charged by God to become the abbot of the monastery at the foot of the holy mountain. Saint Anastasius of Sinai writes, on the day of his enthronement, 600 pilgrims came to the monastery. When all were sitting and taking food, John saw a man with short white hair, dressed like a Jew in a white tunic, going round and authoritatively giving orders to the cooks, cellarers, stewards, and other servants. And when the people had dispersed, and the servants were sitting at the table, they looked everywhere for that man, who had been going around and giving orders, but they did not find him. Then the servant of God, our Holy Father John, said, Leave him be. Our Lord Moses has done nothing strange by serving in this place which belongs to him. This account is related almost in passing, but it reveals the commingling of this world and the next, and the solicitude of the saints for those who are still present here below. This is an entirely new way of living that gives believers in Christ a very real access to heavenly realms. The video you just watched is an extract from Modern Day Mystics, Episode 7, on the mystical marriage and theosis. Modern Day Mystics is a series on Christian mystics that is based firmly on the Word of God as its foundation. 
You can watch the full documentary for free on this channel. The link is included in the description box. If you'd like to support the making of Modern Day Mystics, you can become a Patreon. You can also visit awandwonder.studio as well as cardboardboxchurch.com for more details on giving. For a tax-deductible donation, you can give to Cardboard Box Church directly via Venmo, Givelify, Zelle, or PayPal. Thank you, and God bless you richly. Amen.